divided far by death were they, whose names in honour, here united as in birth, this monumental verse records. They drew among the western hills their natal breath, and from those shores behold the ocean first, of which in early youth, with one accord, they chose their way of fortune. To that course, by Hood and Bridport's bright example, draw their kinsmen, children of this place, and sons of one who, in his faithful ministry, inculcated within these hallowed walls the truths of mercy to mankind revealed. Worthy were these three brethren, each to add new honour to the already honoured name, but Arthur in the morning of his day perished amid the Caribbean Sea, when the Pomona, by a hurricane whirled, riven and overwhelmed with all her crew, into the deep went down. A longer date to Alexander was assigned for hope for fair ambition, and for fond regret, alas. Now short for duty, for desert sufficing, and while time preserves the role of Britain's naval feats, for good report, a boy with Cook, he rounded the globe. A youth in many celebrated fight with Rodney had his part, and having reached life's middle stage, engaging ship to ship, when the French Hercules, a gallant foe, struck to the British Mars his three-striped flag. He fell in the moment of his victory. Here he remains in shore, a certain hope, and laid until the honour when earth and sea shall render up their dead. One brother yet survived, with Keppel and with Rodney trained in battles, with the Lord of Nile approved. Here in command, he worthily upheld Old England's high prerogative in the East, the West, the Baltic and the Midland Seas. Yea, whosoever hostile fleets have ploughs and ensanguished deep, his thunders have been heard. His flag in brave defiance has seen the bravest enemies of Sir Samuel's name felt fatal presage in their inmost heart and inevitable defeat for doomed. Thus, in the path of glory he rode on victorious, always adding praise to praise, till full of honours, not for years, beneath the venom of the infected clime, he sank on Coromandel's coast, completing there his service only when his life was spent. To the three brethren, Alexander's son, with English feeling and deep sense of filial duty, consecrates his tomb. Hello YouTube, I'm James from Droning on Somerset, and as you may have guessed, we're here at Admiral Hood's Monument. The poem was written by Robert Southey, a 17th century poet, and can be found in St. Leonard's Church in Butley. More information about the location can be found on our website, links are in the description. Just wanted to say a little bit about the monument itself, which stands at 110 feet tall based on a Tuscan column and is made from Dalton stone. The monument was built around a decade after the Admiral's death and the unveiling coincided with the coronation celebrations for King William IV. In 1831, during the unveiling ceremony for the monument, a cannon cartridge meant to form part of the celebration exploded, causing devastating injuries to a local veteran drawing a royal salute to the Admiral. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please consider leaving me a thumbs up 
and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.